Welcome everybody to week three of the Ed Hoddle Show as the Mustangs make the trip to the Garden State to take on the Devils of FDU Florham. I'm James Wagner, Assistant Athletic Director for Athletic Communication, joined by Coach Hoddle. And Coach, uh, interesting game last week against LVC. Uh, your thoughts on the contest? Um, we made about every mistake a football team could possibly make. Um, but the good news is we got to come back to work on Monday and got an opportunity to clean some of those things up. Um, you know, disappointed in how we prepared, disappointed in how we played. And, you know, that disappointment starts with me. You know, I've got to do a better job getting the guys ready to go. And um, that's got to trickle down to the staff and trickle down to the players. And, you know, we've we've got to perform better to, to have an expectation of success. Well, just recapping the game real quick. Obviously, you had a lead at the halftime. Uh, you scored 35 points in the game. You amassed 458 yards offensively. Um, you know, you, you said you work on different things. Could you take anything away from this game um, that you could look as a positive? Sure. You know, I, I think we did. I think you hit on it. You know, we did some really good things offensively. We were able to move the ball at times at will. Um, I think Nye took a big step forward, um, you know, throwing the ball. And, you know, it's easy to look at, you know, a, an interception return for a touchdown. But it takes two to tango. There's a receiver involved in that, and mm -hmm. there was, you know, and then there was a tipped ball, and that's a bit of puck luck, so to speak. Um, you know, so, but he he took a step forward. I think, um, offensive line wise, we played fairly well. Um, you know, defensively, you know, we struggled most of the day, and, and those things need to be cleaned up. Okay, let's turn our attention to FDU. Obviously, you're going up to play FDU. You've beaten them every year since you started playing them. FDU in the last couple of years has really made strides as a program tell us what do we what can we expect out of fdu well you know it's it, it's a mac football game you know everybody's mm -hmm. going to have their best in uh you know on saturday and you, know, you i think you're right in the sense that that they've they have closed the gap on the rest of the league you know our, our game here last year was 20 to 10 and it was tight you know through through all four quarters and um you know what we've seen on film is that's no different you know they're poised to, to take another step forward and you know we've got to play much better than we did last week to go up there and, and have you know the opportunity to have some success and now you're going back on the road and you've had a success on the road at rowan any different kind of thing you prepare for obviously with an overnight trip that you prepare with the, the guys for to, to play this game um not particularly you know we've had these overnight experiences it isn't new for us you know we go overnight to several other conference members so you know our older guys are used to it they're comfortable with it um personally i, I enjoy it you, you, you get to get away, you get to be with your guys, there's minimal distractions, um, you get to, you know, you, everybody eats together, you know, you get to have your meetings without distraction, and, and I find it to be relaxing, and I, and I think our guys enjoy it as well. And you said to me the other day, you've never had a bad piece of pizza in Florham, New Jersey, right? No, the no. food up there is great, so we're always excited to go back. Well, Coach, good luck this week against FDU. Thank you. So the Mustangs will be getting ready to take on the Devils of FDU. Don't forget they're home next week as they take on the Pride of Widener. Thanks for joining us on the Ed Hoddle Show, and go Mustangs.